the, the point of yelling all lives matter is that we know that all lives matter and that's not what we're saying we're saying that black lives matter at the same level as the other lives right so if you have 100 sheep and 90 99 are safe but that one gets out the you, the the shepherd is not thinking about the 99 that's safe they're thinking about the one that's in danger the trials that black people have to endure as a community are far more and far unwarranted than anything else that I've experienced in my lifetime. So to say black lives matter is really to just put our focuses on helping like the people in need, like your neighbor in need, your brother in need, your sister in need, and that's like what we're fighting for today. Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter! Black lives matter. Black lives matter. What's his name? George Floyd! What's his name? George Floyd! Ships brought African slaves to what would become the United States as early as the 1500s. And as our country was established, slaves remained, and the numbers continued to grow. On December 6, 1865, the 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution was ratified by Congress abolishing slavery, nearly a year after it was passed. Five years later, the 15th Amendment gave Black men the right to vote. Women could vote by 1920. Ninety-nine years later, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 outlawed discrimination based on race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. And now, 56 years later, our country is embroiled in a battle to realize and recognize the basic human rights of their ancestors, who now make up 13% of our population. This forum was created to give voice to those students on our OCC community who have joined the 500-year-old fight to live in a world where our lives matter. But we ask, are you listening? I'm Jade Lewis, and with me today are Quindell Williams, Carrie Ann Dixon, Jabari Stansel, and Sam Prince all graduates of OCC's now broadcast media department. Hello everyone. We welcome with this, we open with a simple statement, Black Lives Matter. So let's begin with a question that has been asked by many of us. Why is saying all lives matter the wrong reply to Black Lives Matter? Yeah, uh, I'd like to start with that. So my name is Quindell Williams and um, you know, this, this notion that all lives matter, yes, absolutely all lives matter um and and, and that's the i think that's the, in my opinion that's the point of black lives matter because for far too long you know black lives have been discounted has been you know disregarded uh, dis disenfranchised or, or whatever you however you want to call it um but uh to amplify that black lives matter is to show yeah we you know are just as much supposed to be under the law of equal protection of you know equal rights um and, and what you see um over you know years and decades and centuries is that you know that notion of black lives mattering ha has has not really been evident and so you know when when the trayvon martin situation happened um back in 2012 you know this that you know uprising of hey <laughs> you know pay attention things are happening that should very well be you know checked um, and then you get people who may be um i guess uncomfortable with with hearing black lives matter like what does that what does that mean black lives matter no all lives matter yes you're right all lives do matter but <laughs> You, in order for all lives to matter, black lives need to matter as well. So um, I, I, I think, you know, uh, white, white Americans in particular tend to hijack that as something to make themselves feel more comfortable about the movement. Um, you know, why, why do you matter? We shouldn't have that conversation of asking why it matter, but here we are again today um, after 400 years or however long you want to put it of, of trying to get people to understand that and it's a battle but you know we'll, we'll continue to fight i think a great thing to bring up now is kind of why are people specifically white americans why are they okay with saying blue lives matter in direct response to black lives matter so it's kind of like if we say black lives matter they're like yeah but all lives matter and blue lives matter i don't know if anyone wants to kind of hop in on that um i was reading something the other day about the difference between people who say all lives matter and people who say blue lives matter. And I kind of jotted down a quote. Um, blue lives aren't a choice. Or blue lives are a choice, black lives aren't. You don't get to choose to be your race, but you do get to choose to be a cop. And um, that being said, cops are included in that all lives narrative. But again, blacks need to be prioritized. Um, if black lives matter, 
bothers you as a phrase, but all lives doesn't and blue lives doesn't, it's the word black that really bothers you. And that's something that I think needs to be brought to focus is, again, I don't know if you guys have heard the quote by Jonathan Cunningham, it's the house on fire narrative, where if your house is on fire and the fire department comes, you're not gonna put water on all of the houses, you're gonna put water on the house that's on fire. And that's kind of the quote that I've always used to explain it to people in my life. Um, there's a huge All Lives Matter rhetoric that's kind of down here where I live. And that's always been my favorite quote. Absolutely, yeah. Carrie Ann, do you mind just stating where you're from so we can kind of round that out? Yeah, um, well, I grew up in Syracuse, New York, but I moved to Nashville, Tennessee six years ago. So I've been living kind of in a liberal city tucked away in the deep south. And yeah. there's a lot of different types of racism down here, but a lot of people genuinely think they're doing good when they say all lives matter and when they say blue lives matter. And it's kind of been a priority of mine to make sure that they know what they mean when they're saying that, because I don't think a lot of them know. I think that what they're doing is taught, it's learned, and they just haven't been around a bunch of different kinds of people to realize how much it hurts. Absolutely. Sam, I know you had something you wanted to add to it as well. Uh, for sure. I think when you're looking at the situation where you're talking about all lives matter and blue lives matter and people that choose to, to use those phrases, uh, the first thing is that they're using these as a retort, right, to kind of what everybody's saying. But it's somebody says black lives matter. The idea to say blue lives matter or all lives matter because, you know, they're taking that kind of sit there. They're taking the fact that we're saying black lives matter personally. And it's, and it's not of a personal thing. It's not a personal attack uh, against anybody who may not be African-American, but it's it's a sense that, you know, we're saying that, hey, this is something that we should look at and we should focus on. Is that, is that a problem? And it's not a personal issue against any one individual person. It's, it's against a systemic issue that has been running rampant. And so when people hear that, immediately they want to jump on it and want, want to become defensive because it's something that they see as a personal attack on them or on, or on their history or on something that they may or that, that they may not have done or on something in fact that people might not have interaction interactions with african-american people on a day-to-day -day basis so it may be something that they feel is like uh, a non-starter irrelevant irrelevant but it's not that it is and it's not that it's, a, it's an attack it's a so it's a plea and it's a cry for help to saying, hey, let's look at this and let's see what's going on um, with black lives. Not that police lives don't matter, not that all lives don't matter, they all do. But right now at this time, we're not trying to attack you. We need you on our side so we can work together. Absolutely, yeah. You know, we're, we're dealing with cause and effect here. You know, we're on, on the surface, we're looking at the effect. Oh. Black Lives Matter, but okay, what is the cause? Let's let's look at the root of this, right? Let's let's see why we're, you know, saying Black Lives Matter. You know, there's a reason for this. So instead of attacking the, you know, what you see at the surface of this, you know, what let's let's have this conversation. Okay, if, what do you mean by that? Ah, okay, all right, I get it. You know, but if if your initial reaction is to to fight against it and you automatically don't want to hear what that means then you know we're, we're back at square one where you know we're basically just you know yelling at each other and, and no one's listening so yeah, just you know that that idea of the cause and effect you know there's there's something at the root of this that that is the actual problem but here we are just looking at the surface of it and, and making that the problem instead of what what the cause of that is um how I feel about all lives matter. Um, I mean, I do agree that they do matter. We're not saying that they don't matter. It's more about like prioritizing our lives over others, in my opinion, because our lives need to be more at risk at the moment. And I just don't understand why people think that their life don't matter because I generally do believe all lives matter too, but I also believe that black lives matter. So am I found a black lives matter movement? Yes, I am. And I support it in every single way. I just, I don't want the fear of being around a cop or how to put this without sounding dumb right now. Um, essentially, we're not saying that your life don't matter. We're saying that our lives matter and we're scared every day that something can happen to us. And we just don't want that. That's why we're protesting every day. This is why 
all these laws are not coming out with the body cameras and stuff like that. So that's really why I have to say. Absolutely. And just to kind of jump off of some of the quotes that Carrie Ann had, I also had those written down. So very much on the same page. Um, another comparison I found useful is that if you're okay with saying blue lives matter and you can understand that it doesn't mean that firefighters don't matter and it doesn't matter that EMTs don't matter, then there shouldn't be a disconnect. And the difficult thing that I've kind of reconciled with is understanding that it isn't my job to educate people on what Black Lives Matter means. There's plenty of material out there. There's plenty of ways to educate yourself. Get on, like, get online, get on the internet, Google anything. Um, there's books, there's people all over Twitter. There's people like allies who are willingly ready to explain this if you don't understand it. So that's also been something I think that's interesting to try and grapple with is, Understanding it's, you know, it's not Black Americans' jobs to teach people what this means when there's a wealth of information out there about it. At least with the people um, that are kind of around me is the, the question that I always ask after I see All Lives Matter is, does that include, you know, the children in the camps, the IC camps, um, refugees, LGBT members? It's like, what do you mean when you say all lives? Because I don't think you actually mean all lives. And that's a separate conversation for a separate day, but it's, it's something that I think people need to kind of realize and they need to look inside themselves. What is categorized as all? Because that's, mm -hmm. that's our issue is we don't know what you mean by all because that's a big word. Exactly. Yeah. And for we've sure. even gotten within the Black Lives Matter movement, we even still have specification of Black trans lives matter. And it's not because yeah. Black lives at large don't matter. It's because Black trans people are statistically targeted more than cisgendered black people. So I think even within that, like if we're out here and we're already fighting for all this stuff and we're able to be like, no, black trans lives matter too. And we're okay with that specification because we understand where it comes from. And we know that these people need to be protected. And we know we need to get specific with our activism. Um, then I firmly believe that everybody else should be able to also pick up on that and kind of understand it. Yeah, and I, I agree with you. And I think that it is, specific when we we're saying that we're talking about Black Lives Matter and we're talking about the different uh, categories with underneath that. But I think we hear all lives matter and people say that our, our root lives matter. That's symbolic of what people think of as traditional American values. And so when you hear somebody says, okay, well, all lives matter, they're not necessarily saying that everybody's people's lives matter, but they're saying that the American value, the, our way of life, what we have traditionally uh, grown up to believe how we have been living uh, for this particular amount of time, uh, the comfortability that people have, like that is what matters. So it's, it's, it's wrapped up in this phrase that says all lives matter, blue lives matter, but in reality, they're talking about it's the symbolism that relates to the core American values that these people, people have and that they're not willing to maybe kind of redirect or budge on. Um, and, that's the kind of fight that we're dealing with where we've got people picking sides between, picking between a group of people who we should be working to support because we're all on the same team are these traditional American values that we're comfortable with and that we don't want to change. Absolutely. What's ironic is those traditional American values tend to be rooted in racism and that's why it becomes difficult because no one wants to talk about that. Black lives are on fire right now. We're getting strangled in the streets. We're getting harassed, we're getting choked, we're getting killed. So right now we need the water on our house. Not to say that we don't love everybody because we never stated that. It's just the fact that we need help and we're asking everybody to help us.